Oh no, I think I've grown too big for the space station. Vet to my snacks. Hello guys, I'm Orbita, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest. Series 2 part 7. Going to Eve, mailed in a micro space station, and a Tylo landing. Mm, so much to do, so little time to do it. And in fact, I was stressed for time this week. And that was because of our oh, taxes. I'll get into that in a moment. But first off, let's explain. In this series, what we do, we we add Kerbals. You put your name in the description below. In the description. No, I put the description below. But you put your name in the comments below. Ask to be a Kerbal. I'll add you as a Kerbal. Not in the next episode. Maybe in an episode later. I've got loads of Kerbals to send on loads of missions. Also, um, yeah. I also read out your comments. So let's start that off as we quickly and very quickly come to Eve because we have a lot to do as I said we've got stations to build we've got to get into orbit as well which takes time blowing up things which also takes time I know explosions happen quickly but they do take time <laughs> anyway first one first comment is from Zuhu Sir Makut no Suhut a lot Makut the 67th hey nice work and he says, can't wait for the space tree. Oh yes, he wants me to build him a space tree on the man. I did not this episode because I was looking for, um, you know, because time was limited, I had to bring up something quickly. So what we're going to do in this mission is we're going to land on Tylo. That's, that's one of the main goals. We're going to build a space station around Eve, even though we're going to send space station to Tylo. I wasn't sure the small craft we added to the landing craft on top would have enough fuel to get to Gilly and back so yeah and uh, oh, balls I really need, I need have to rename the episode now ah oh, I said Tylo at the beginning it's Gilly the moon's Gilly Tylo's the moon run jewel <laughs> anyway I have to do that in post editing but let's get back to the comments as we're arriving at Gilly Ray Breno Lucon long con long can sorry Great job on the ship, Orbiter. Lol. Second, didn't you have a different name, uh, Breno? I'm not sure. I'm sure you had a different name. I do know you've got a different name. <laughs> anyway, Snaffly Bonsai 54s. Yeah, I'm one of the top one, top hundred viewers, and one of the top ten commenters. Awesome stuff. It's awesome when you come to a video early and you leave a comment first off. Is you sort of like you get that fuzzy feeling inside. You're successful in adding a comment first of a video. <laughs> Especially if you add first or second or third to it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, we live in a weird society these days. <laughs> anyway, Joshua Sukel. Can I be a Kerbal? Yes, you can. As I said, don't expect your Kerbal to be in the next episode. I've got quite a few Kerbals to add, so I'm adding them quickly as I can. There were supposed to be seven Kerbals, I think, on this mission. For some reason, the game glitched out and only gave me five. So I do hyper-edit two other Kerbals, as we'll see in a moment, into, well, into existence, or at least here. And I forgot to say who is on this mission. Um, right, quickly, getting the information up on who is on this mission, because I'm recording this not live, but it is almost live. We have... Repok, Repook, O3, Scott Burnett, the kid with a man ban, Walter Jimenez, Iceland, Logan Hartman, and Fenny Oinks. They are our Kerbals for this mission. <laughs> I'm sorry I read them out fast, it's just that we have a load of comments to go through, so that's what I'm going to do. And you can see I just hyperated our two Kerbals in there. And we're going to choose two Kerbals to take, uh, send on the mission to land on Gilly. The smallest moon in the KSP system. So let's get into some comments as they're taking their seats, because it's not a capsule landing, no. I thought that'd be that's done too many times, so we're gonna have to do an outdoor sort of like uh what do you call it, a car with the hood down landing. Anyway, from Fast Martin, Mart Martin. Nice! I don't want to be on EVA forever like the other guy. Don't worry, if you're on the man, I have a return vehicle. Only that one guy who wants to stay on the man will be left on the man. From Toasty Carno Gaming, can I have a Kerbal named Toast? Yes, you can. 
If yes, then can you go on something like an adventure to Mohol? We'll see. I'd done my whole last series, last Kerbal Quest series. I'm not sure. Don't forget, we've got other stars to go to. And there's 15 planets. I don't know which stars there are around, out there, around those stars. These are new planets, not discovered. Uh, procedurally generated, which means no one else in the Kerbal Space Program gaming community has got these planets. Or well, they might have something similar, but you know what I mean. These are my planets. <laughs> and from Sir Hoot McHoot's lot, 67 again. Hoots is my signature. Yes, it is. From John Media. You should get a biggest, the biggest asteroid. Don't know if it's around. Yeah, I think he is the biggest asteroid class. And make it orbit the man. Could do. We've done sort of like in the Mind the Man series. We've got an asteroid. In the last Kerbal Quest series, we've got an asteroid. So we might do that. But don't forget, we've still got a lot to do little time to do it and to do it we have to do it <laughs> whatever <laughs> anyway from George Schommer these Kerbals are heroes they risk their lives in the hands of Orbiter and they explore planets with no knowledge of them <laughs> no they don't <laughs> and now they will be willing to go to other solar systems these guys are crazy keep up the work <laughs> yes you guys are crazy put your hands in my your fit your fate in my hands Pretty handy in my Peter. <laughs> anyway, from Thanix117, can I have a cribble that goes into a sun? I want to roast marshmallows for science. No problem. Cribbles love snacks and they need to know the right temperature that you need that I have to roast marshmallows. Oh yeah. And the gravity is so low on this. Look at this, we're sliding. Uh, you know, we, have, we came down really slowly as well. And watch now as we jump a Kerbal for science and see how far he goes. <laughs> Bloody hell, the gravity is so low on Gilly. Anyway, let's get back in some comments. From Omniscient, Omniscient TV? I found something. It's called Wrong Gender Parable. It's where you're Kerbal and you're only a girl Kerbal. Yet in real life, you're actually male Kerbal. That's the wrong gender parable. Yes, sorry, Omnisman TV. I turned you into a Kerbal girl. My mistake. I think I left the automatic uh, choosing options on in the game for when I add your Kerbal. Yeah, mad. Anyway, from C Zane, could I go on a lone mission to another system? You don't need communications onto a ship that Kerbal's in, and I just want to be the first to see the stuff we're made of see it anywhere else not just we where we are and in what we orbit <laughs> sorry about the length of this comment no problem and don't worry we'll be sending off kerbals to other planets uh, other star systems first off i want to send a probe and if you wonder about this clip it's just showing the shadows on gilly we're so close to gilly it's showing the shadows on the surface it is so mad how small gilly is anyway let's return the station back to um, Eve, and then read out another comment as we're doing so. Anyway, Alex Public, hi, my Welsh and Gia, how is it going? It's going awesome, dude. Another cool Kerbal quest, but you need more planets to make new series. How good will it be to download a planet systems, a star system pack? Haha, <laughs> way ahead of you there. Haha. <laughs> if you watch this game as I'm playing it and you see large, blurry, large dots, not the ones on the screen now. I don't know if I'll see any now. Oh, if only I... There, um... Oh. Do you see a blue star? No, that, that one up in the right top corner. <laughs> we'll see, Sam. Soon. I promise you. There, there's a purple dot and a yellow dot down there. They're stars. So, yeah, we've got plenty of stars. <laughs> and anyway, oh, if you need an idea for a Kerbal Quest or a simple video, a big rover base. An exception or something on it. Anyway, thank you so much for the video and you're do what you're doing for subscribers. Also, I can't wait for the stream tomorrow, which is I do a stream on Sundays normally in Kerbal, uh, Kerbal Space Pro. I might do Helion next though, because that's a game that's just come out. I've just downloaded it and that looks exciting, but that'll be just a one off probably. Anyway, from Alex Jandro Macias. Yeah, I'm under you, Duna. Lol. Yes, cool stuff. Wildcard MC. What was it updated? 
uh, uh, the game, no, I think the mods updated. I'm not sure because I had problems updating the mods. Anyway, let's build a station. I launched it all in one. I should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video. It's an all in one station. However, I did forget to add antennas to it so I can't control the other parts other than the main one we're controlling. Damn it, I forgot. Anyway, next time you'll remember to do that. <laughs> anyway, from Jarbad. Oh shoot, I'm on this mission. Groovy. From Fester01. Man, can you put me on a ship? For Eve, please, call me Fester. Did I pay you on this mission? I can't remember. Let me quickly check. No, I forgot. No, I think, no, you asked you this, and you asked in this video, so you're too late to go into, you asked in the last video, so you're too late to go into this video, so it'd be next video if I was going to Eve. So unfortunately, no. Anyway, let's go to Space Explorer. You need research bodies mod to discover the planets or distant any object. And you did not add me to the Mars mission. I can't remember why I didn't add you. But uh, yeah, don't worry, your Kerbal has been added. But I don't think I noted that you wanted to go to Mars. And anyway, we've got plenty of plans to go. I'm going to return all your Kerbals, or most of the Kerbals who want to be returned, and they will send them on mission to another star. And also, I'm going to I'll go to the next comment, Everett Dalton. Cool episode, by the way. I'm so iOS has a flag emojis, but there's no flag for KSP. This is unacceptable and an outrage. And he puts the two flags in there America for him and you, not UK. Um, yeah, UK for mine. Unfortunately, I did have a look on Android and there is no Welsh flag emoji. And the Welsh flag emoji. Has, no, the Welsh flag has a dragon on it. I reckon it's the coolest flag out there. I'm not sure who else has got uh, sort of a dragon on their flag. You know, who else can say that? We have a dragon on our national flag. Although we're part of the UK, and the UK flag is our main one. Not our main one, but sort of like um, an amalgamation of all the United Kingdom states and whatnot, countries. But, <laughs> yeah, we do have our own flag. Anyway, what we're doing by here, oh yeah, we're out of control and I realised I haven't got any RCS on the main system, so we didn't actually have controls for it. So we're going to grab the RCS ports, put them on this station, on the main part. Unfortunately, we have to transfer eight of them across, so it takes a bit of time, effort. But this is engineering. It's pirate form. It's an art form. <laughs> anyway, from Snad Cookie 10 LOL. That happens to me all the time. Every single time I use the Mark II cockpit, the one part that blows up, everything else stays. <laughs> Lucky mech chip and survived. <laughs> yes, in the last episode, I tried. I had a bit of time, spare time for the episode, so I decided to do a fast as possible re-entry craft hypersonic. We had a hypersonic uh, command pod as part of one of the mods, so I decided to you add that and see how fast and go and see if it doesn't explode. Unfortunately, it did explode. And unfortunately, the only thing that survives is the mech jeb, which we're gonna put on the other craft. Um, oh, the other station, because I don't think we got a mech jeb on it. From Chubby Cat. Ha, I get it, question mark? My name is Mark. And some of these comments are questions. Question mark. Paladin Pizza says, I would like to be Kerbal named Paladin Kerman. No problem. My only request is that I'm dropped into a star for sacrifice to the Kraken. We may do that before our mission to another star system. Mr. X says, even I can't engineer a ship without Delphi readings from Kerbal Engine Redux. So that is allowed. Yeah, that's, you can do the calculations. I've done it. The first time I played KSP, I actually done the calculations before I installed the, me the mod is to prove to myself that I can do it at the time, no, yeah, at the time it was after I'd done a long course, maths was included, so maths was on my brain at the same time. So yeah, awesome stuff. I always tried to do things without mods first, like docking, done that rather than docking hard when you first started, but I did it without mods first off. Anyway, from Liam Blilith, your videos are the highlight of my day. Awesome, thank you, dude. 
from Bra Bradley Bryant. Oh, I love this comment. <laughs> Top of the morning, dear laddies. I'm Rob Baz, your Welsh engineer. Fly safe. <laughs> <laughs> do you get them? Do you get the references on them? I'll let you mulder, mulder, smolder, uh, muller over it. Is that right? I don't know. Muller rice over it. Anyway, Robo Dragon two two two. He says, "Damn them boosters are cool." It's it's massage. I think he she meant. Ah, he wants the cur massage kerbal. How'd you do that? Uh, oh, another one from him. The history of Kerbin. You won. They crashed. Crashed at launch. Crashed in space. Dear two, they made something but forgot parachutes. They made a lander with no legs. They sent a rescue mission that which failed. Year three, they docked, made a space station. They landed on the man. They made a plane that crashed. Year four, they ventured to different planets. And they forgot to save the game. <laughs> yes, and if you forget to save the game, and the, the current uh, precision file crashes or cracks, you've lost. Ah... From XX Assassin 1275ZZ123. Orbiter, when you make me a Kerbal, can you name him Anthony? And what's my mission that you plan for me? I want my Kerbal to do extreme stuff, not an and clogging toilets and mopping the floors, think. <laughs> oh, keep up the good work, though. Uh, I don't know. Did I put you on a mission yet? No, I don't think I have. So we'll find out. I've got a couple, you know, Space Station around Duner is one of them. Um. We've done a space station around Eve. I was planning on land on Eve. I'm not sure where they want to now. We may do. But, you know, it's going to take time. And it's going to take time for us to go away from going to other stars. So we may skip that because that's hard. But we do have advanced technologies that we may be able to lift off Eve easier. Because launching from Eve is the one thing I have not done in KSP. This is the one thing, other than land on Gilly, which I've just done. <laughs> Is uh, the one thing I haven't done. I'm trying to think where else I've done. I've landed on all the bodies now. I've landed even on Eve. That's land on Eve is easy because the thick of the atmosphere slows you down so much. As long as you don't explode and you survive, then everything's fine. So I, yeah, I think that's it. Other than going to other star systems, there's not much I haven't done. Anyway, from Brian. Can you do an Apollo recreation? Nice colony on Juno, by the way. Greetings, Brian. <laughs> um, yeah, my, I want to do a proper Apollo recreation, but it won't be in Kerbal Quest. It'd be in a standalone video, maybe in a live stream. I did an assault like Apollo 1 mission in recognition of the Apollo astronauts from Apollo 1 who died in a fire. So may do a proper one at some time. All right, from Mr. Potato, Lord Orbiter, what does Mr. Potato Kerman have for a second mission? Just ask it. Not sure yet, but don't forget, we will be sending every Kerbal back and eventually send them on a mission to start, but we do have a lot in the Kerbal system to do first. We've still got a Jewel to get to, and there's a lot of moons around Jewel, but I don't think we'll go land every Kerbal. We won't land on every moon of Jewel. At least Tylo. Is it Tylo? Might be Tyler, the one in the atmosphere, anyway. From Ethereal HD. Upload 18 hours ago. Damn it, I missed. Must. I'm usually early. No! Also, try say my name. Okay, this I did promise I'd say this name. Nicodem. Nicodem? Nicodem. I'm not sure what the accent's right, by the way. Nicodem. Stelkais. Kzik, Kzik, Zel, 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 I don't think it was right. Oh yes, the mini station. I almost missed that. It's a shame you can't put the parts on each end, but I decided I will build it like that. I'm using the Kerbal Attach mod, if anyone wants to know, by the way, to build this. And Tweak Scale was used to shrink the parts down. Anyway, from Sea Faster Day. Thank you for so much for adding me as a Kerbal, and I'm sorry I've not been active lately. Notice you made two live streams, but I haven't been there because of school. No problem, school's more important. Don't forget that, guys. Getting a good education is important. And it looks like I'm going to miss a load of comments today. So, unfortunately, we'll end with the space station. And I'll say, if you like the video, hit the like button. 
look at this. We're too huge for the station. We've had too many Twinkies. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, Kerbals aren't just for Christmas. They're for multiple missions.